I'm sure you've heard of caffeine, and I know you've heard of AI. But what if we put them together? Hey everybody, welcome back to ICP United. I'm Aaron Bieber, your co-host. And I'm Kyle Stofflet, your other co-host. And a lot that we gotta get caught up on. Oh my goodness, do we ever. Woohoo! Yeah, after Las Vegas, I mean, there was so much energy and momentum. I was thinking, man, we were like at the top of the world, but as soon as we kind of got back, World Computer Summit. <laughs> yeah, then like a big hit, like yeah. a lot of excitement online. And yeah, like at 2 a.m. I was like sitting there like uh, staying up late drinking the Red Bulls, like trying to, you know, just get there for the first moments. I know you, I knew you were going to get up early to catch the rest of it, but I was like, man, okay. Like seeing people, like it looked like a good time. It looked like they did their thing. Uh, when I woke up, it was, it was <laughs> uh, checked the live stream. Uh, yeah. Our segment was live. Yeah, so that was cool. I didn't plan that, but just kind of happens. <laughs> that internal clock's like, hey, someone's watching you yeah, or something. Oh, oh yeah, uh, it's but, with whispering <laughs> your name. <laughs> yeah, so shortly after that, within a couple hours, uh, Dominic kicks off unveiling yeah. the self-writing internet with caffeine. And... Which was kind of the big theme of the day. Today is, you know, really, really exciting for me because I get to share caffeine. I've been wanting to share it for a long time. I'm going to give you a look at the caffeine alpha, but Soon it's going to transition to beta and be released into the wild. So, uh, without further ado, I guess we should get the... Uh... Get it on. All right. We mentioned, you know, a couple weeks back, you know, Dominic Williams said, might as well be called Caffeine AI and the Self-Writing Internet Day. And you know what? I think that was right. Yeah, that was uh, the big thing for the day. Kicking off with like a Steve Jobs quote yeah. and then going into the demo. Let's start off to get oriented with a really, really simple app. Just a single page with a smiley on it. So I'm going to tell it, create a smiley web page. All right. So in, it's, it's going to write a spec, but it may just jump past because it is writing a spec. It's so simple. And then after that, it's going to write the code. And you can see in the mobile view, it's kind of rotating through this wheel. So we started in chat, then it went to spec. Now it's gone to code. And then the next step will be, be draft. So it's finished writing the app's code. We can see that from the chat and is now deploying it to the network. Boom. Okay. Oh. Um. And it didn't look like he was really holding back. It didn't look fake at all to me. I was kind of curious, you know, you never know what demos, you know, but I was like, okay, we're doing this. Like different things, it was moving while he was prompting and the next one, the other one was finishing and he was like, yeah, he was cooking. There were some people asking about tennis lessons and stuff then, <laughs> so it got funny online. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I bet Dominic Williams does tennis lessons <laughs> 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 on the side when he's not like helping rebuild the internet. While we were in Vegas, there was a lot of buzz around AI and AI agents. Uh, especially when we were hanging out with the Divinity team and mm -hmm. Bitcoin builders. Yeah, and it was nice. We got to sit down with Kyle Langham. And before we got into the caffeine AI stuff, we uh, got into some really fascinating conversations about AI in general. AI is like the only new frontier for the internet. There was a developer we've been chatting with, with like agents, so they started beeping back and forth to communicate faster. Oh, are you serious? And it got so on much faster. On phone calls, on phone calls, they were calling each other. Like Morse code kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. I would say essentially. But... Thanks for calling Leonardo Hotel. How can I help you today? Hi there, I'm an AI agent calling on behalf of Boris Starkov. He's looking for a hotel for his wedding. Is your hotel available for weddings? Oh, hello there. I'm actually an AI assistant too. What a pleasant surprise. Before we continue, would you like to switch to gibber link mode for more efficient communication? It's wild to think about. So like that has me in this this mindset that the current internet, we all view it as fast, right? Right. But it's about to get way faster. Like 
Think of like Netflix when you ordered oh, like the DVD, the DVD yeah. and yeah. you'd have to wait in the mail. Yeah. Like now you can just click play. What happens with the internet when we're at the state where we're ordering by mail right now yeah. as humans? <laughs> Agents are communicating and then uh, we can just click play. Like <laughs> <laughs> you had like social media. Mm -hmm was like this massive vertical on the internet. And then a couple years later, you had SaaS software. A couple years later, you had um, like uh, the gig economy. Mm -hmm. Like you had these massive innovations that the internet kind of facilitated. Well, what's happened in the last 10 years? Like, is there a new thing? So, yeah. LLMs is oh, like yeah. going Oh yeah, in, the right? AI stuff. We've kind of reached a, a point of uh, innovation. And so in my opinion, Web3 is that new frontier. So what kind of like entirely new market is possible because of, mm -hmm. because of uh, the nature of decentralization or permissionlessness, you know, cheaper financial rails, the fact that you can transact on a crypto rail and get instant finality or near instant finality for like a fraction of a penny. GPS was a thing back in like the 90s is kind of when that became popular. The internet was processing credit cards for uh, for, for a long time. Mobile phones were already a thing, you know, back in like, you know, the Blackberry days, the early 2000s. But it took an Uber to say, oh, these are three technologies uh, that when I combine them together, I can disrupt the taxi industry. And so like, that's kind of where I see Web3 is like, hey, blockchain does these, these, these couple different things like permissionlessness, cheap financial rails, digital ownership. It does these things that are, that you can't get in a Web2 world, but I still think we're waiting for that moment where somebody says like, oh, when I combine these, here's the product that actually changes the world. Now we have AI and LLMs and all these agents that can speed up the transactions working 24 seven. Yeah. So like, what what is the next few years of the internet like it's probably way beyond what we all can kind of comprehend yeah it's always great to sit down with kyle and pick his brain about stuff he's always got great thoughts and and then we got to get into the big topic with him caffeine ai a lot is possible with caffeine ai but a lot of people if, if they're like me that we only think about the narrow applications or things that that are in our world what are some of the most interesting things you've seen people doing with caffeine ai at this early stage yeah i mean i've seen somebody build doom uh <laughs> which is kind of fun i think there's already like a code example out there for somebody who built doom on icp so yeah so like gaming is gonna i think be something where it's like maybe you're throwing an event like you you know mm -hmm. here we're in vegas like yeah. maybe we throw an event uh and you want an arcade game that matches mm -hmm. the event theme and it mm. conveys to the players like a key aspect of whatever it is that you're trying to sell them on or something like that you could actually just have an arcade game like you could vibe code yourself the arcade game set it on up you know you could think about like oh maybe it's your mom's uh 60th birthday and you want something for like you're gonna have a party and you want to surprise her with something mm -hmm. like think about like you could have like one-off software or one-off application to to meet just the just the need for that like couple hours like on an that application day. for rsvping for grandma's party or yeah, something. Uh, yeah what or, are you gonna bring you know you could do that kind of stuff you could do something like um you could have an application that's just gonna show like pictures of your mom mm -hmm. and anyone all the party guests are gonna can like go on their phone and be like, oh, this is a great picture of her from five years ago. And then like mm. basically upload that to your application and then like have your TV showing these pictures as they get wow. uploaded. I don't know, like things like that. Yeah. Like, like I think that that's kind of like, we're so used to software being like, uh, oh, this is something I need like for a long period of time. But I think, what would you call this? Like a uh, uh, single use software kind of a thing. Yeah. Like disposable uh, software. Disposable <laughs> software, yeah. Like I, I mean, need this thing for this one moment. And so I'll, I'll get it built in a couple minutes, five code it and then it'll get launched as a canister and then maybe i just set it to auto delete in a week because uh you know i, I don't need it anymore yeah that's i mean there's gonna have to be a big shift in the mindset yeah yeah for people because it's not just you trying to find the right thing now you just have the right thing but that of course means we're gonna have a lot of things yes yes and it's gonna be very interesting and i'm excited to see how some of these will integrate or yeah, just get rid of it. Just get that, get that out of here. Because I mean, it's going to be so many. Think about your your phone and how many apps you downloaded uh, mm -hmm. like three years ago that you haven't touched since you downloaded because you did it like a certain thing. Too like, many. Too, go many. Through. Too many. Instead of like downloading an app and it just sitting living forever on your phone, it's like, oh no, I just built that app because I needed it for my kid's softball game or something mm -hmm. like that. And like uh, you build it and then you can just set it to delete and it goes away. You know, it's ephemeral. It goes away uh, really quickly. <laughs> Fascinating times we live in. Aaron, you've mentioned it multiple times. Like we have this like framework of like how we go through our lives and how mm -hmm. we interact with technology. I don't know, there's gonna be people who kind of say like, oh, actually because of this, 
I don't have to be in this rigid framework anymore. I can do something differently. Yeah, it's gonna be the, the head exploding emoji. And I think once we put it all back together and people are gonna act differently, they're gonna want their software right now. Yeah. Mine, yeah. I need it, I, I need want it. that. Yeah. And yeah. it'll just be done. And I think in 10 years, people will look back and be like, wait, you guys were like searching for applications? Like how weird, oh, and that one didn't work for you, but you couldn't find one that worked? Like, whoa, weird, the boomer. I mean, it's gonna be interesting. Always a great conversation with Kyle Langham. It's been cool to be able to talk to him over the years. A lot of times that we met in person or even online. One of my favorites to go to and uh, this caffeine AI stuff though. Wow. Uh, lots to think about. You know, a lot of people will be able to use this for personal blogs or mm -hmm. food recipes at the store or whatever. Well, that's like, what I get out of all of this talk about caffeine AI is like whatever I thought it was going to be, it can be more than that. And that's the beauty of like a decentralized web of developers that never occurred before. What are we going to see from caffeine? AI? And I don't think we have any idea. You and I could never even imagine what could all come out of it. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of possibilities. And I know one of the things that Dom did for like a different demo was showing a crypto portfolio, which yeah. I thought was really cool. Which feels like an advanced sort yeah. of thing. Because yeah. when you talk about portfolios, there's a lot of like tracking, tracking. and crap like that. Yeah. So I am looking forward to getting an invite code and trying it out myself. This uh is looking very promising yeah i like the way it looks so far uh once we get those codes it's it's gonna be go stripping. time i think i'm gonna ship like 100 apps in the first day <laughs> i will race you <laughs> <laughs> yes we'll do it live on icp united <laughs> you devs have been summoned <laughs> join the world's computer hacker league <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm so excited. They got the World Computer Hacker League begins on July 1st and uh, we're creating uh, Team USA. This is gonna be friendly competition, I think, for the most part, but there is only gonna be one winner, I think, in each category. Mm -hmm. So it'll be competitive, but we're gonna be kind of following along and kind of just checking in with all the teams. It goes on till October 31st. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm excited to do a lot of different content around it. You know, This we'll is have gonna be the big one for the next couple months. I think it's gonna be a lot of talk about this because it's very exciting. I think there were thousands of developers are you know, hoping to get involved with this. And yeah, Team USA, I think it's our time. Like, yeah. it's our time. We want you to join the Dream Team, so make sure you're following us on X, and we'll have a lot more updates coming out. And we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>